Whether you live in the city or country, we all enjoy being in an environment surrounded by nature. Our tree-lined streets provide a home for wildlife, much-needed shade and a pleasant outlook for the city and towns across our state. We also rely heavily on a safe and reliable supply of electricity to our homes and businesses. And for most South Australians, this is delivered via the power lines hugging our roadsides. As our state's distributor of electricity, and as required by law, SA Power Networks strives to ensure that these trees and power lines coexist safely so that your power supply and our community is protected all year round. Vegetation infringing on power lines can pose a serious risk. Trees must be regularly trimmed to avoid potential safety hazards and damage to lines. If this isn't done correctly, vegetation could come into contact with our lines to cause power outages or even bushfires that can have a devastating effect on people's lives and property. SA Power Networks is responsible for trimming trees on public land to ensure they remain clear of power lines at all times. Our contracted staff receive training by arboriculture experts and are bound by legislation under the Electricity Act. This legislation prescribes that we trim within two clearly defined and distinct zones. A clearance zone is the set minimum safe distance between vegetation and power lines at all times, allowing for wind movement. A buffer zone is the area around the clearance zone, allowing for potential growth of the tree until the next trimming cycle. It also includes the removal of any extra vegetation to allow for safe access. The legislation prevents clearing to an extent greater than the buffer zone, which means we are unable to improve how trees look after we have cut to these prescribed zones. Where lines are uninsulated or in regional or bushfire prone areas, this buffer zone is extended even wider. Currently, this trimming is repeated annually in high bushfire risk areas, but once every three years in other parts of the state. Unfortunately, this time frame accounts for some of the more severe examples, particularly where we've had to make allowance for substantial regrowth. Recent years of higher rainfall have made this process even more challenging. We know our community really cares about how we manage vegetation near power lines. That's why we're exploring a number of options to help us improve tree trimming outcomes. Consulting with the community and local government, new technologies, targeted vegetation management programs and more frequent trimming cycles are just some of the methods we would like to try. The aim is to produce a more visually pleasing result that balances the needs of our community with our legislative requirements. We all need a network that's strong, reliable, efficient and safe. At SA Power Networks, we're working with you to deliver a vegetation management program that's balanced, sustainable and meets the long-term needs of our community.